Hey Gun Geeks, I'm Destiny from Guns Gear and Fitness and I'm at SHOT Show 2015 with another update from Nonstop Shot. I'm at Elzetta's booth here and I have Dave from Elzetta to talk to us about what's new in 2015. Hi Destiny, we've got some exciting things. Um, this year we have partnered with Impact Weapons Components to develop a brand new Mini CQB Integrated Weapons Light. And it comes in a couple versions. <laughs> and here's one, here's the other. But it's based off Elzetta Alpha technology. So it's Proven 350 lumen, uh, 315 lumen output uses any of the six Elzetta Alpha tail caps. So you've got a rotary option, click, high low, high strobe, or remote tape switch with a five inch or 12 inch cable. So you can configure it to the way that best suits your mission and your preferences. And then we've got the uh, modularity also to add to that of impact weapons components mailing solutions. It's all integrated into this one weapon light. And this one is the Picatinny rail version, as you can see here. And this one here fits both key mod and also the new Magpul M-Lock system. So we were talking off camera a little bit about the new Magpul furniture for AKs. And if you're looking to put a weapon light directly on the, that furniture, this new light's gonna be perfect. So one of the nice things about that is the way this one product will fit both key mod and M-Lock is in the way Impact Weapons Components has designed this mount. And the nuts on here, when installed one way, will fit key mod, and you flip them over, and it'll fit M-Lock the other direction. So you don't have to buy two different products. So it's a great product. Um, all the durability features you're used to from Elzetta and from Impact Weapons Components, um, guaranteed forever, all American made. The version is going to retail for $210, and the key mod slash M-Lock for 235 so it's a great value it weighs four and a half ounces extremely lightweight it, with 315 lumens it's high lumen low candela so it's made for close quarter battle interactions within about 50 yards won't put just a spot of light on the wall but will light up the whole room with a very uh, uniform neutral tint beam so really excited about this new product line it's called the mini cqb uh, we should start shipping them in April, but you can go on our website and pre-order them today, and we're going to ship them in the order the orders come in. So April, order it today, and uh, we're, we're cutting metal right now, getting these ready. Now, I'm sure my sister would be excited about this if she were here, but I noticed you have a light mounted to a bow. What's the we story do. here? Absolutely, and this is a, kind of our first non-tactical product, and it's certainly our first product for archery, and it is a flashlight mount for compound bows. Um, it fits most of the modern bows on the market today, simply attaches to the arrow rest, and puts um, an LZ flashlight, whether it be an Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie, configured to the uh, client's specifications in a very ergonomic position. So you can put it down here if you are, say, wild boar hunting in Texas or something. If you're using it for bow fishing, this mount can be put upwards so that it stays clear of your reel and your tethered line. And uh, it's going to be a great product. We've never been in the archery industry before, but the archery industry has never seen a product like this before. So we're bringing Elzetta quality, durability, innovation to the archery market. Oh, cool. Thanks for the introduction. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. Hey Gun Geeks, I'm Destiny from Guns Gear and Fitness and I'm here at SHOT Show 2015 and of course I had to stop by Griffin Armaments. So I have here Evan from Griffin to talk to us about what you guys have going on for 2015. Hey, thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. It's um, good to see you again. You too. So we got a bunch of new products for this year. Um, we'll just take you down the new products that we have in our lineup. Uh, starting with the 30SD silencer. Uh, this is a continuation on our QD suppressors uh, that we've had previously in 5.56. But it goes over to a 30 cal 762 offering. So this is a 7.6 inch length can that's 19 ounces. Uh, it's going to be coming with this two port brake with an integral over travel stop. Uh, it's a very high uh, performer uh, on 556, 300 blackout, you know, 68 SPC as well as 308. So a lot of versatility in that product. Um, we also came out with a kind of inexpensive but high quality direct thread 556 suppressor. Uh, that's our Spartan 3. Uh, it's a 6.2 inch suppressor, uh, $550 MSRP, uh, only 12 and a half ounces, fully welded, 17.4 stainless construction like a lot of our centerfire rifle suppressors. Uh, the unique thing about it is that it comes pre-drilled so that you can pin and weld it to a 10 and a half inch gun for a 16.1 inch uh, overall compliant length with one stamp. So that's kind of cool. Um, we're also coming out with, and we've been shipping these for a little while, a uh, sportsman suppressor. So this is a 
interesting concept. Uh, the Hunter has kind of come out of the woodwork for the silencer game, um, and we're seeing more and more sportsmen getting into the silencer market. What this is, is it's a 12 ounce full size suppressor that is uh, capable of handling 300 wind mag. Uh, so it's really lightweight, but it's also inexpensive. So we offer it in a taper mount that you see here, uh, as well as a direct thread mount uh, for $800 uh, with the taper mount uh, brake included and $750 for the direct thread version with the thread insert included. So that's an affordable and lightweight hunting product, which is pretty cool. Um, we also rounded out our uh, pistol suppressor line this year. Uh, came out with the 9mm uh, Revolution suppressor at SHOT Show last year. Uh, this year we're launching the 45 version of that. It's a little bit longer at 8.2 inches instead of the 7.6 inch length that the 9mm has. Uh, but it gives you ear safe sound performance on your 45. It's only 12 ounces, so it's competitive with some titanium offerings. Uh, at an $849 price, uh, piston included, ready to run on your gun. And what's, what's cool about these cans uh, versus others uh, is that you can actually remove this uh, tube extension and collapse the unit down to make a shorter overall length. Um, so there's some modularity to that. And the sound performance is so good in the short unit that a lot of uh, early customers have been running it in that configuration uh, and just getting a more compact can kind of for free because performance has been so high. Um, this is being shown on an Agency Arms uh, Glock 17. They're kind of a, a newcomer to the uh, custom Glock market. Uh, beautiful machining throughout. Uh, really some cool features. They've got an American flag on this filler plate for uh, the RMR cut, which is pretty cool, uh, showing the American pride. Um, and then their, their stippling work is amazing. They actually do a lot of high quality machine work and fixturing to this uh, to get it to the level of quality that it is. And they offer some unique features like these uh, thumb rests, which can help you drive the pistol and keep it on target. So excited to be working with them this year. Um, just to quick show you guys, uh, we've got a, uh, a Brethren Armament uh, BAP-9 pistol that was made into an SBR conversion. This is uh, Cerakoted in Agency Gray, um, and it features our uh, Revolution 9 pistol silencer in the short configuration, so you can get, take a look at just kind of how compact that is. Um, it, it also shows off the integral three lug mount that we make uh, for the 9mm. Uh, most companies have a maybe two inch long modular extension. Um, ours is pretty clean and low profile uh, and compact in that it's integral. So those are the new products from us this year. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for the time. Yep. And uh, we'll see you later. Yeah. Hey. And there's one last product that I want to do uh, stop by and check out before I leave the Beretta booth. And I have here Mika to tell us more about the M10 that is now released for the civilian market. What are we looking at, Mika? Okay, in here we have the TRG M10. Uh, this is our multi-caliber uh, offering in, in TRG line. Uh, by changing the barrel, bolt, and the magazine, you can change the caliber from 308, 300 Win Mag to 338 Lapua Magnum. It comes in a multiple different uh, variations where you can uh, change the handrail uh, length, uh, you can have a fixed um, uh, fold stock or a folding one. Uh, the folding stone can be folded in, in both directions. Um, all the tools that are required to make the barrel chains are included uh, with the gun. So you have your, your torch key uh, on, on top of the um, bolt, and then we have a separate toolkit um, under this handguard uh, down here. All the magazines uh, are basically from the outer dimensions, they are the same. So by changing the inner um, distance, we can change the uh, caliber in these magazines. You can um, you can see what is the actual caliber by feeling uh, this indicator mark here, here, and in the barrel. So one means that it's uh, 308, uh, two dots, or, or rings means that it's uh, 300 wind mag, and so on. So, And one important thing that I, I forgot to mention is that you can um, adjust the uh, hand guard, the ergonomics, you can have different uh, plates to have different sizes, pistol grips. 
Um, then one other thing is that we have spring-loaded um, spring adjustments in the um, in the um, recoil in the in the um, cheek piece and the recoil pad. So you can, when you get into your prone position, you can adjust them there. And when you uh, le leave the lever, release the lever, it stays on the exact position you want. Cool. Okay. And are these, or when will these be hitting the sales floor? Uh, we this is already, oh, uh, already. on the on, on the market so oh, cool. it's now launched for the civilian markets as well so anybody can now uh, get hold of these. Well thank you for the introduction. I'm thank you very much. About these. Thank you very much. Hello Gun Geeks, I'm Destiny from Guns Gear and Fitness and I'm here at Walther's booth and I have Everett Dager who is the marketing director for Walther Firearms who's gonna talk to us about what Walther has brought to SHOT Show this year. Thank you for your time, by the way. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> for 2015 for our SHOT Show, a lot of what we have has kind of been the mainstays over a number of years, but right here are our special makeups, which means these are exclusives for a lot of the customers who go out and are looking for a particular pattern, if they like pink versus another color, or even some uh, carbon fiber that not everybody carries. These are some special editions that can tailor somebody to their only pr own particular needs or what they like. So with that, we'll step in and I'll give you a tour of the, the rest of the booth. As we move forward over here, these are going to be a lot more of your concealed carry personal protection firearms. The PPS has been a mainstay for the last several years, and of course everybody knows James Bond's favorite, the PPK. Both chamber, <clears throat> the chambered in 380 for the PPK, and then 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson for the PPS. Also close to that is another factory favorite, the P99, which has been around for about the last 25 years. Moving on behind me over here, this is our tactical rimfire division. And one thing that a lot, a lot of people are familiar with is that Walther actually manufactures licensed replicas for Heckler and Coke, Colt, the M4, and also Uzi. So if folks are wanting to get the experience of a lot more of those fully automatic full-size firearms that don't have the money or obviously are licensed to carry those, these really provide a nice cost-effective option. particularly new for this year is our G36 replica. This one isn't available to the civilian market, so a nice 22 option is going to be perfect for anybody who's looking for it. What's nice is it's about a 98% replica, and what I mean is the only thing that's going to be different is the magazine release. This also has interchangeable magazines with our HK416s, which makes it a nice, also cost-effective option if you already own one of the AR platforms. We also offer Uzi, pistol, and Colt full-size replicas as well in 22 rimfire. Moving over here to our other section. We're gonna weave through here. This is gonna be more of our full-size firearms. Our PPX, which has been a real fan favorite due to the uh, quality of the firearm, but also the price point. And then our flagship, which is the PPQ. A lot of folks have liked the PPQ and have said that it's the best kept secret in the industry. The trigger is really terrific. We also offer a Navy model for threaded barrels, especially for those who are looking for more of a suppressor compatible firearm. And as we know, suppressors are becoming much more popular, especially as people realize that they too can own them for just a small fee for paperwork that's involved. All right, and we will keep on moving along. <clears throat> well, and as you can see, the busiest part of the booth which was our debut last year at the 2014 NRA show, is our CCP, or the Concealed Carry Pistol. <clears throat> Featuring an external safety, and an ambidextrous magazine release, and a single stack, seven round magazine, the CCP has been one of the most anticipated pistols on the market for 2014, just started to ship in December of last year. With that, probably the last part is one thing another people don't know, is that we offer a competition division, which means a lot of folks who are familiar with the Olympics and everything like that. We offer firearms for those youth shooting programs as well as some of the premier Olympic competitors across the entire globe. Wow, those are gorgeous. So you have a ton to offer, not just the couple of famous uh, PP, uh, PPK pistol that we're, we're so familiar with. Absolutely. I mean, one of the 
things that I hope the consumers realize from the Walther brand is that we offer tactical rim fire for people who are looking for inexpensive options to shoot and also for the youth shooter who's getting into firearms in some parts of the United States you can use the competitive aspect to become more familiar with a lot of firearms and then people who want to use guns for personal protection and home defense all of our center fire pistols are very prominent so we have a little bit for everybody if somebody if you're looking for something from home defense competition or even going out and plinking cans on the weekend well thanks for giving me the whole walkthrough i appreciate Absolutely. the tour oh thanks for stopping by